collapse of Yellow, one of the country's biggest trucking companies affecting 30,000 workers and leaving taxpayers in the hole for hundreds of millions of dollars it received during COVID. Here's Tom Costello. Those yellow trucks are iconic on America's highways. Now it's the biggest collapse ever in the U.S. trucking industry, with the company telling employees and customers that it's shutting down, affecting 30,000 employees, including 22,000 Teamsters. A mechanic for 20 years, Shannon Abbott is tonight worried about his family. I'm worried about my insurance for me and my family. You never know something, something could happen. Last month, Yellow CEO blamed the union. The leadership at the International Brotherhood of Teamsters refuses to come to the table to discuss the future of our employees. When managers in Omaha urge drivers to pressure the union, the company is running out of cash and is at risk of closure or liquidation. The anger and pushback were immediate. So the the you. Close the you guys get run this That's the problem. Yellow has been around for 99 years, offering lower rates to truck freight for retailers big and small, including Home Depot and Walmart. But for years, it struggled to turn a profit. Last month, congressional investigators found Yellow should have never received $700 million in emergency funding during the pandemic. The Trump administration approved the loan in 2020, claiming the company was critical to maintaining national security even though the Justice Department had sued Yellow for overcharging the military. Taxpayers still own 30% of the company. Its stock down 89% in less than two years. Tonight, industry experts believe other trucking companies can pick up Yellow's business with minimal impact on the supply chain. Are there jobs for every worker at Yellow? That remains to be seen, but certainly there is a steady demand for drivers. The question is whether the national demand for truck drivers will create enough openings for Yellow's drivers now looking for jobs. Buster? All right, Tom Cassell, thank you. In 60 seconds, the life of the guilty.